What's up Valve Guides people? I'm Dave. So, VR is kind of the future of gaming in many aspects, but it does feel like it's coming along slower than we initially thought, and why wouldn't it? VR is still in its childhood, maybe even its infancy to be honest. The full potential of VR is yet to be properly pioneered, but it's our hope that these 10 games will contribute to boosting VR closer to that full potential. So without further delay, let's take a look at these puppies. Number 10, Boneworks, VR Combat Evolved. Created by Brandon Latched, who is best known for his work on the Freddy W and Node channels, Boneworks is quite possibly the most in-depth weapon system for a VR game yet. This is a narrative VR action adventure using advanced experimental physics mechanics. It's described as a VR game within VR. As the player, you dynamically navigate through environments, engage in physics-heavy combat, and creatively approach puzzles with physics. There are no wrong answers. What makes Boneworks special for me is the sheer depth and mechanics of each specific weapon put into the game. In most VR titles, the weapons don't always feel good. In Boneworks, however, it looks as if it feels right. The movement system is one of the most complex and intuitive I've ever seen in a VR game. You can run, jump, and crawl on basically any surface. Combine the movement with the weapon of your choice and you'll find yourself creating an immersive experience that's almost entirely unique to you. If there's one game you should be excited for on this list, it's Boneworks. The technology for this game will almost certainly be looked back upon as the foundation for many complex VR titles in the future. Number 9. Star Citizen Star Citizen is the game that everyone dreams about making when they're a kid. Imagine a universe that combines the freedom of exploration, the thrill of intense combat, and the surreal mystery of building a life in space. In Star Citizen, you decide what life you'll live. You could become a galactic cargo hauler, or the universe's most feared bounty hunter. All of this is fantastic, and Star Citizen is already an incredible game in its alpha stages. But now imagine this in VR. It's a match made in heaven, and with Chris Roberts, the owner and director of Star Citizen, recently confirming VR support. Once all that stabilizes, of course, yes, we're going to go and get that supported, and when... It'll only be a matter of time before we get what, in my opinion, could be one of the greatest and most immersive VR and gaming experiences ever. If done right, Star Citizen VR will undoubtedly be a milestone in gaming history. Number 8. Valve's Mystery VR Titles Valve leader Gabe Newell confirmed that development on three full VR games was in progress, utilizing both the company's own Source 2 engine as well as Unity. While Gabe didn't confirm any specifics, according to Eurogamer, these unnamed titles have been in development alongside hardware. It's a meme that's been done to death by this point, but I cannot imagine a better match for VR than Valve's iconic Half-Life series. The heavily physics-based gameplay matches perfectly with the possibilities that VR is capable of producing. Of course, this is Valve, and Valve do have trouble counting to three when it comes to sequels, let alone offering up new original games for users to see, so we may never get these games. But at the very least for now, Gabe has confirmed that they're in production and that they will be utilizing VR, and that alone should make you excited. Number 7. Star Wars Vader Immortal I'll be honest, I'm no Star Wars fan, but the idea of there being no dedicated or even decent VR game for this franchise feels almost criminal. Developed by the team at the ILM Experience Lab, a division originally launched by Lucasfilm, Vader Immortal seemingly puts you in the control of an unknown protagonist that battles in saber-to-saber -saber combat with some of the toughest villains in the Star Wars universe. I'm in two minds about this one, because despite not being that into this franchise, I am more than aware that motion control games and Star Wars have had a rocky history, to say the least. Things could go wrong, but I feel that we're better off being positive over pessimistic, and if it turns out to be something great, nothing sells quite like Star Wars. Which is always good for VR, since it's trying to make a major impact on the marketplace and get the system into more hands. Number 6. Respawn's VR Project 
There isn't a ton of information on this game, but the Titanfall developers have announced that they're working on a VR war game with a focus on putting the player into authentic combat situations, or at least as authentic as you can get while wearing a VR headset. Sadly, we don't have much information on what the game will be quite yet, but Respawn is known for creating incredibly smooth FPS gameplay, and the possibility of them bringing that to the VR table is exciting to say the least. And with the win streak they're currently on thanks to the explosive success of Apex Legends, hopefully some of the money earned from that success can go into funding something that benefits both their company and the VR community as a whole. Number 5. Stormland Insomniac Games have created some of the best feeling games of all time, with their latest release of Spider-Man being a prime example that they just get it. And since Stormland was announced alongside a video demoing features of the game, I think it's safe to say that the hype was and is very real. In Stormland, you play as an android travelling through the cloudscape, collecting augments and defeating enemies to save other androids from a group called the Guardians. What makes this stand out to me more is the amount of ways you can seemingly tackle a situation. Options on how to approach gameplay is very important when it comes to VR experiences, and ultimately, this kind of playstyle will help set great games apart from the masses. It seems like a safe bet to say that not only is Stormland in the best possible hands, but that it is a surefire success. Let's hope that success helps boost the VR industry even further. Number 4. Zed. One genre of games that always seems to escape motion control gaming are well-told story-driven experiences. The developers at Eager Games would like to have a word with the heart-gripping art-based game Zed. Zed is the story of an aging artist completely lost in regret and suffering from dementia. The player's objective is to reassemble the artist's broken memories into something beautiful as a final gift to his unborn granddaughter. A common complaint with comparable titles such as Gone Home and Dear Esther have is that there never seems to be enough to do to keep things interesting. That changes player by player, but the average gamer doesn't enjoy walking simulators. With VR bringing things much closer to reality, you can fully experience a story on a much more immersive level. Zed looks extremely promising, and we are crossing our fingers that it delivers on its promise for that unique and immersive style of story-based gameplay. Number 3. No Man's Sky VR No Man's Sky did not have the best start in life. But to their credit, the developers have remained committed to fixing and upgrading the game. With quality update after quality update, No Man's Sky eventually delivered a truly great experience. To top off the momentum the game has been gaining back, developer Hello Games have recently released a trailer for the VR update to No Man's Sky, and I am all for it. While it is completely understandable to not want to buy the VR version of a game that launched the way it did, Hello Games seem to be standing at the ready to combat anything that comes in their way and deliver the experience that they intended to at launch. And with the reviews coming in on the VR version being quite positive, I think it deserves a shot. Maybe not immediately, but definitely down the road. Number 2. Borderlands 2 and 3? So, Borderlands 2 VR was recently announced, and with Borderlands 3 on the horizon, I think it's only fair to offer up a little speculation and say that I don't think it's outside the realm of reason to assume that we may also get a VR version of Borderlands 3. Maybe not at launch, but at some point, who knows? For now, it may be better to sit back and see if Borderlands 3 will tower over its predecessors or hide in their shadow, but given the quality of the previous games, I do have a hard time imagining it performing poorly. It's a classic game with tons of content, and I think we're set for a very interesting interpretation of the fight for Pandora. Number 1. Gadgeteer Time for a total shift in tone. Gadgeteer is a game described by the developers as a physics-based VR puzzle game where you build chain reaction machines to solve fun, intricate puzzles. Your machines will use gadgets to launch, bump, twist and turn, creating chain reactions that may even end up tearing the fabric of space-time. Pretty basic stuff, right? This game really showcases the type of creativity that can be harnessed for VR titles. Specifically in this case, you may not have the time, space, or resources to create such intricate chain reactions. It offers a fun, safe way to unleash creativity, and that's really part of what both gaming and VR are all about. Alright, well, I'm gonna go lay down now. 
I have no idea why I fell from the sky at the beginning of the video, but I won't question it if you don't either. If you made it this far, thanks for trying me out and I hope to see more of you going forward. I do have my own YouTube channel that is mostly Halo right now, but I'm trying to branch out into other gaming topics. But that's all I gotta say on that. I'm curious though, which of these VR games are you excited for? Or is there something that I missed? Feel free to tell me in the comments and I'll keep an eye out. Have a good day and I am done. <laughs>